It is time. Tour for some Carolina baseball. Now, I'm going to talk to you about Jeff Lieberman's previous job. The scope I got from uh, SCRT performance is that we could have beat North Carolina. If Lieber made his pitch, which we had a very good team that year, he made matters the tallest guys that are skinny. I don't necessarily like tall and skinny, even in that Vanderbilt, which I'll we'll get to in a second. Uh, we we should have won that North Carolina game, and we should have won a conference ship against Louisville, which was pretty easy to do. We were just 20 points down. And uh, we should have went to the conference championship that year, but you know, Jeffrey Burns lost the building. It's something to complain about, and I'm going to complain about it today. Jeffrey Burns knows we learned alone. I don't know what we're going to take. We can't take more losses on a weekend. We can't take what he did at ECU. I know what's going to happen, though. I'm sorry, 24 7, but Jeff Lebo is not the 20 year coach you think it is. He needs another head coaching job in rare high school, college, AU. He was even kicked from my team because he wanted to bolt the roster that we have from 10 years from now. Uh, even I didn't want to do that. So, um, uh, Jeff Lambert's roster building is not that great. And I'm not saying it because I'm a Tall Hill fan of 20 years and went to school there. I'm saying it because I love the Hills and don't want to go through the rabbit hole of East Carolina Pirates. That era. Era suck. That era suck. We may have had tallest high years, but we were so skinny we had barely meat in our bones. I don't want to see that in Carolina. I just don't. We've had some pretty thick guys, okay? We can add on to Brady. We can add on to it. We can add on. But I'm totally convinced we can add on to Brady, Crane Lever, if Jeff Lever is the head coach. Uh, Jeff Lever's recruiting is not that great. I'm sure we're going after five star McDonald's Our Americans first year. But he's not going to get him because he's the first year again. Now, second time and third time, I expect to get three McDonald's and Americans to four top 100s. That's just what I expect to North Carolina since we have a winter size of a mailbox. And all, uh, all this have been here for 100 years. So it doesn't look like we're going to stop winning ships. Just no matter how identity will be stolen for the Federal's identity and not East Carolina's. Since Fed Jeff Lever would shoot threes, we have no three points on the team. And I, I think that scares me more because we're going to go down in size. And nobody wants to shoot the two these days because of Steph Curry and Draymond Green that is available to shoot the three, regardless of any options and criticisms we have to shoot the three. If we have to shoot three as a heels, we can count 17 more dream ships goodbye. I really feel sorry for Hibbert because he has one of the toughest jobs in the world and he's Kinfolk. Um, I'm so sorry, man. You got a horrible staff. What really was left us with Dunton? Um, Dean Smith the left us with something, but that was eaten up with Roy Williams. I'm so sorry for them hiring a horrible pick. He wasn't even drafted in the first round. Uh, he, he, it's so horrible what he did at East Carolina. Uh, I didn't like him. I forced him down with money. He was a little that Vanderbilt had a three-point career record. I don't think he needs any more records. Other than three percent of records, and that's what during his first fifteen years. I don't think he's fine for his fifteen. I think North Carolina kicks him out, get him to Pittsburgh, and he goes like a head coach. Well, I'll be covering as a beat writer. And uh, I'm still glad to count on football's rate, right, but that's not what we wanted at all. So, uh, anyway, I think Tom Lakey is not the board, board, uh, not the uh, guy we go with. I think Tom, uh, Jeff Lever might be a horrible coach. But well, it's time to interview Jeff Lever on the East Carolina days, isn't it? 